What's up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're jumping into Tessa Merlin. I already had 12 weeks of research with this amazing peptide and I had absolutely incredible results. I have a whole series right here. If you guys are interested, it's all documented on my channel. These videos right here will give you everything you need to know as far as how my research went. We're also going to be jumping into scientific literature. So publications in in human trial phases with Tessa Morellin. We're also going to be breaking down the six by two vial from Peptide Sciences, and we're going to be going over the protocol, duration, and the best way to research Tessa Morellin and Ipamorellin so that way individuals can get maximum results at home. With that being said, Let's get into it. All right, so let's break this down. Tessa Research shows that Tessa can reduce fat by nearly 20% and is considered up to four times more effective than other therapies. Tessa is a synthetic 44 amino acid GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone analog. It has been researched primarily for its HIV associated lipodystrophy, where it helps reduce abnormal visceral fat deposits. Studies also suggest benefits for nerve health, slowing mild cognitive impairment, and reducing overall visceral adipose tissue. All right, let's just jump into this real quick. We're just going to go over a couple publications from PubMed. So the whole point of this is to see how much these individuals were doing, these patients in human trials, and what the weight loss was. First one right here, reduction in visceral adipose. Abstract background. Tessamorone, a growth hormone releasing hormone analog, decreases visceral adipose tissue, VAT, by 15 to 20% over 6 to 12 months in individuals with HIV. So conclusion, in contrast to non-responders, HIV-infected patients receiving testimerolin with 8% reduction in VAT, visceral adipose tissue, have significantly improved triglyceride levels, adiponectin levels, and preservation of glucose homeostasis over 52 weeks of treatment. All right, so this is a big one right here. The study consisted of two sequential phases. In the primary efficacy phase, months zero to six, patients were randomly assigned to receive testimerol in two milligrams subcutaneous every day or placebo. And months six through 12, patients receiving testimerol were randomized to continue on testimerol in two milligrams subcutaneous every day. Result, visceral adipose tissue decreased by 10.9% in the testimerol group versus 0.6% percent in the placebo group in the six-month efficacy phase. Waist circumference and waist hip ratio improved. Insulin-like growth factor one increased, but no change in glucose parameters was observed. The peptide was well tolerated. Conclusion, testimerone reduces visceral fat by approximately 18 percent and improves body image distress in HIV-infected patients with central fat accumulation. These changes are achieved without significant significant side effects. So these are just two quick publications talking about how powerful the reduction of visceral fat is with researching tesmerolin. The one thing with tesmerolin, we can see two milligrams was more commonly used than one milligram in these human trials. All right. So now with that being said, let's jump into the protocol based on current research. Let's just get this video wrapped up for you guys because nobody really wants to watch this shit. The dosing strategies based off current research and science is one to two milligrams of tesamorelin. I've personally researched one milligram of tesamorelin five days on, two days off for 12 weeks and had incredible results. But it really just depends on how we take care of ourselves, age, ton of factors. We'll go over that today, okay? One milligram daily is often effective for many individuals. Two milligram daily is reserved for cases where significant visceral fat reduction is needed. Duration, 12 to 16 weeks, followed by a 30-day break to allow for receptor site recovery. Schedule, five days on, followed by two days off, or six days on, followed by one day off. Both schedules are common and recommended to maintain receptor site sensitivity. Best time to take, administer before bed on an empty stomach. Since GH peptides use the same receptor site as insulin, it's advised to wait at least two hours after eating to maximize the benefits of the peptides or peptide. Why we want to research tesamorelin before bed on a fasted stomach is very important. So whenever we do our tesamorelin or our GH peptides, they're going to use the same receptor sites as insulin. 
So if our insulin levels are spiking and then we're going to do our GH peptides, then they're going to be using the same receptor sites and we're not going to get as good of benefits. So we want to make sure those receptor sites are completely open so that way they get saturated by the GH peptides and we can get maximum benefits. A lot of people will just wait one hour. That's fine. But from my research, how I was able to get such incredible benefits is because I would wait at least two hours then do my administration, and then go to bed. This is going to be one of the most important things right here, so hopefully you guys are still sticking around. I should probably put this in the first. Lifestyle individual factors. Response varies based on age, metabolism, mitochondrial health, and receptor sensitivity. Peptides are not one-size-fits-all solution. Synergy, nutrition, exercise, hydration, and sleep can enhance results. More is not always better. Two milligrams daily can be costly. They're very highly individualized peptides are, and it's really how we take care of ourselves, or how we have taken care of ourselves, how our metabolism is, how our receptor site sensitivity is. There's so many factors on how peptides play and give individuals results. The one thing I know about peptides is they mimic exactly what we're doing. So if we're taking excellent care of ourselves, we're going to get excellent benefits. This is the best part about peptides. All right, let's break down the six by two vial from peptide sciences so that way you guys know exactly how to research it at home. All right, so this vial contains six milligrams of tesamorelin, two milligrams of ipamorelin, with tesamorelin taking priority when establishing the dosing protocol. This is very important. The six milligrams is going to take priority over the two milligrams. So we always want to go off of how much tesamorelin is in the vial. Dosage logic. Research indicates that tesamorelin is typically used at one to two milligrams daily. At one milligram per day, a six milligram vial will last six days. The two milligrams of ipamorelin will be evenly distributed over the six days, resulting in approximately 333 micrograms of ipamorelin for one each milligram of tesamorelin. This creates an ideal supportive ratio. Reconstitution example. Add 2 ml of bacteriostatic water to the vial. Pulling to the 33.3 mark or ml will yield 1 milligram of tesamorelin along with 333 micrograms of ipamorelin. Alternatively, add 1 ml of water. Pulling to the 17 mark will yield the same amount but measuring at the 33.3 mark is usually more practical. Using slightly more water can also make the administration smoother. Summary, the vial is best suited for a dosing protocol of one milligram of tesamorelin and 333 micrograms of ipamorelin over a period of six days. So I believe that this vial was meant for six days as if we're gonna be doing two milligrams daily based on current studies, Recommended dosage for ipamorelin is around two to 300 micrograms daily. 500 micrograms is at the higher end and that's usually suited for people that are expending a ton of energy, athletes, people that really work out hard, okay? So that's on the higher range. But if we are researching one milligram a day, I believe that this, pro this vial is perfect for that protocol. And I had tremendous benefits with this vial of only 12 weeks of research with five days on, two days off. I did start six days on, one day off because I thought it was going to be the way to go. That was my prescription from my doctor. But I had to stop six days and do five days because those two days really helped for eating food as I was burning way too much weight, way too much fat, and I just could not hold anything on. Powerful, powerful peptides, this tesamorelin and ipamorelin. They really do help. My cognitive function was incredible. I could think so clearly. I had workouts that were the best, so strong. That is tesamorelin. I just wanted to make this updated video as it's been a while. I do have my journey once again, if you guys are interested. And uh, with that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. If my video has brought you guys value, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.